Did you know that Excel's linear regression can forecast the rate of quality defects in project management? In this video, we'll create and share a dynamic template in Excel for linear regression using three possible methods. Number one, scatter plot with a trend line. Number two, Linus function, which stands for linear estimation. And number three, Excel's dot analysis and its linear regression tool. You can follow along by getting the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. Step 1 is identifying variables and creating scatter plot with a trend line. Our case study includes 10 projects with observations on the number of defects and investment amounts on quality assurance in $1000. We suspect that there is a meaningful relationship between the two variables and defect number is dependent on the investment level. To investigate this, we can select the two variable columns and draw a scatter plot from the insert menu. Then, from quick layouts, a suitable option such as layout 9, which shows the fitted line and its equation, is selected. Feel free to insert access titles and adjust the plot visualization. The fitted line has a slope of minus 0.6748, indicating that each additional $1,000 spent on QA decreases the number of defects by almost 0.7. The intercept of 10.69 shows the number of defects when zero investment is made on QA. R squared value or coefficient of determination is 0.9603. This high R squared value suggests a good fit of the model and indicates that 0.96% of the variability observed in quality defects is explained by QA investment. Step 2 is using Linus function or linear estimation to find the best fit line. We can numerically calculate the slope and intercept of the fitted line in our model using the Linus function. Select an array of two cells and insert the function. The first argument is known y's, which is number of defects in this example. The second argument after the comma is known x's, which is QA investment. Remember to press shift Control enter for array calculations in Excel. There is another method for array calculations by using the index function. Slope is calculated using index linus with the last argument equal to 1. Intercept is calculated using index linus with the last argument equal to 2. Numeric calculations by Excel functions provide the same results as the scatter plot with trend lines. Step 3 is using dot analysis tools for linear regression. By default, Data Analysis Tool Pack is not listed in Excel's Data tab. To load that, navigate to the File tab and click on Options. Then, under Add-ins, select Excel Add-ins and click on the Go button. Finally, check Analysis Tool Pack box and click OK. You can now find Data Analysis section on the Data tab. Click on Data Analysis and select Regression from the list. Input Y range is a dependent variable which is a column related to the number of defects in our example. Input X range is an independent variable which is a column related to QA investment. Remember to check the box for labels as we have selected column headings. The outputs can appear in a new worksheet and we check the box for residuals to be calculated. In the summary output worksheet, regression statistics are shown which will be interpreted in our next step. Step 4 is interpreting regression results in Excel. We can find a standard error for our 10 observations, which is a standard deviation of the error term, and a measure of prediction accuracy. R square is the coefficient of determination and measures how much of the variation in the dependent variable can be explained by the independent variable. It ranges from 0 to 1 with desirable values close to 1. Analysis of variance or ANOVA shows some results, including DF or degrees of freedom. Number of observations minus 1 gives the total DF, which is 9 in our example. SS or sum of squares is a measure of variation. MS or mean square is SS divided by degrees of freedom. F is the test statistic for the analysis of variance. Significance F is the p-value associated with the F statistic. We can also find the intercept and the slope of the fitted line under coefficients. The residuals in the last table show the difference between model's prediction of defects and the ground truth in each observed project. Finally, let's focus on forecasting future outcomes. We can use the best fitting model to predict number of defects in future projects. Let's focus the worst case scenario in which no investment is made on QA. The predicted defect number is minus 0 0.6748 times 0 plus 10.69. The worst case scenario is almost 11 defects in this project. An arbitrary investment of $7,000 or 7K will result in 0.9664 or almost 6 defects. Based on the fitted linear model, the best case scenario of having almost zero defects is achieved by spending 15.8K on quality assurance. And here it is, an easy and short implementation of linear regression using only four simple steps in Microsoft Excel. Again, you can access the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing. I hope to have your comments and see you in the next one.